going outside. Now, because of the dangerous air quality, the Anderson Union School District is switching to distance learning. Action News Now reporter Anna Terea is live in Anderson Forest. Now, Anna, will students be able to go back to campus? Yeah, they should be able to go back to school on Monday, Scott. Now, the reason why they switched to distance learning for today only was because of the unhealthy air quality. Unfortunately, this year we've had record breaking amounts of fire. The number of acreages have been burned. And it's smoke from those burned acres that's forcing Anderson High students to go back to distance learning. We want to make sure that we always can keep in the forefront the safety of our students and staff and ensuring that, that we mitigate the interruptions to their instruction and their learning, but we do it in a safe environment. West Valley High School was the first to make the switch, but as the air got worse, the district decided to switch all schools back to distance learning. The air quality started getting worse for the other sites, so about uh, 12 o'clock we made the determination that we were going to go ahead and suspend the, the other school sites. As you can see, it's an empty campus here at Anderson Union High School, not a student in sight. That's because the smoky skies and bad air quality forcing students in the Anderson Union High School District to go back to distance learning. Parents tell Action News now while the sudden switch back is disruptive. I think it puts a little dent in their learning, but um, safety first. Their health is more important. I think it's a good thing. Um, the particles and things that are floating in the air can be really damaging to your lungs and your health. So I think uh, they did the good, the right thing. And teachers are learning to adapt to the changes. I mean, we definitely want kids on campus. We know that that's a better place to learn, but. In the event they can't come here, they can still learn remotely. And roll with the punches. And the Anderson Union High School District says it hopes to return to in-person classes on Monday. Reporting live in Anderson, Anna Terea, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on.